Hello everybody. Today I want to show you an updated version of my self-fulfilling potion system. So this system um, works with all the 1.9 features now. Uh, this system is probably the most advanced potion system in Minecraft. And it does the following. Here we have a one white title storage of potions. Uh, it's just a small selection of the potions you can brew. And yeah, let's for example take out some leaping potions out of the storage. And as soon as you have less than 55 potions left, the uh, system will start brewing new leaping potions. So for this, uh, the required ingredients selected and those indicator lamps tell you which uh, ingredients are selected. So here with the nether ward, the rabbit's foot and the glowstone for the leaping two. And then the system will also add some blaze powder as you could see here. So if the top left slot is empty before brewing, it would distribute a blaze powder. And then also water bottles are sent to the system and um, after that a minecart would bring the required ingredients so it could come any moment and yeah it distributes the required ingredients so we start with the other ward then the rabbit's foot and then the glowstone dust so let's do a, a quick time lapse while the system is brewing Okay, now the, the system has finished brewing, now the potions are sucked out via those hoppers and they are transported upwards um, with this item elevator here, so they could come any moment, here they come, that's 27 potions out of the 9 brewing stands and then they fall into the right chamber and are transported to the chests again. And now that we have more than 55 potions, the lamp that indicates that we are out of stock uh, will turn off again. The system has many safety features. For example, if you would take out two potions at once, so let's take out some water breathing potions and some uh, healing potions. Then uh, those two lamps will turn on, but it will only select one potion. So this lower lamp indicates that this um, potion was uh, requested for the next batch. And yeah, it also has a lot of safety features. For example, if you don't have the required ingredient, the system won't start brewing. So now we have run out of puff fish and the lamp at the top will turn off. And if I add some more, if we have enough, then the lamp will turn on again. Here it comes. But um, because we are also out of blaze powder, the system uh, won't start brewing. So here's the blaze powder input. I'll add some blaze powder here. Now that we have blaze powder, water bottles, those lamps indicate the water bottles and all the required ingredients, the process can start. So now uh, this minecart would pick up the required ingredients and would later distribute it. So this way uh, you make sure that no wrong potions are selected. The system could also produce those new 1.9 lingering potions that you could use to make arrows. And the empty bottles of the dragon's breath are transported to your water bottle input. So they're transported in this chest here. Uh, there was nine water bottles and now yeah, we have those nine bottles in here and that's the system to refill it. So let's go to game at zero. You would get the water bottles distributed to you. And then you just have to stand here and press right, right click and the dropper would shoot out the bottles with the same speed that you would uh, make them. Yeah, you can do that as long as you want or until the system is filled. Then you could turn it off again and if you have more uh, potions left in your uh, water bottles left in inventory you could put them in the chest in the back here and it would spit it out and then if you have one of those new one no one nine item elevators um, thanks to Roby Toby and Nathan Ryan they yeah made those and yeah then the bottles are sent to the water bottle storage here we have 18 double chests of storage and some in the hoppers the advantage of this system over systems where each potion has an own brewing stand is that you have a central storage. 
So you only need to deal with one central storage and not um, with a multitude of storages. And if you need a single potion, you have the full power of an array of brewing stands for the maximum speed. And yeah, this uh, system is expandable. Uh, so here we have a small selection of the most uh, used potions and nine brewing stands. But over there, I made a bigger version. So that's basically the same, but it has 21 brewing stands. You could also expand it to up to 54. I did that in my 1.8 system, but I think 21 is quite a lot. So it's 63 potions at once. And uh, also expanded the um, potion storage. So here we have all um, one nine, uh, yeah, either extended or stronger potions, and all the lingering potions. So it's titleable up to thirty nine potions, because of the yeah ingredient selector. We have the tripwire system here, and after the thirty ninth potion, we need a tripwire extender, which takes up four uh, blocks of space, and then we could have another. 39 potions next to each other, but yeah, it's not really required. Uh, I think with 39 potions you would get really every potion that you would realistically use in the game. Now I'll go quickly through the changes I made compared to the 1.8 version and explain it a little bit. So in the 1.8 version we had a single item in here and um, some repeaters so that the single item wouldn't turn on the system. But now we have uh, six ender pearls in there and yeah, it works like this. If you would run out of a potion, the hopper here wouldn't give a um, single and then this torch would turn on and yeah, this cauldron would cut down which at the moment uh, stops the circulation of the items and yeah, it would stop at the item hopper um, where the torch is turned on. So this is make sure that only a single potion um, is uh, selected for brewing and then because six uh, ender pearls for signal strength two and yeah, this hopper would go down and as a result this minecart would be sent on its way and then at the detector rails it would send up pistons with armor stands on top which would yeah which um, here uh, stand for the required ingredients so for example at this p uh, this line here we have uh, the golden carrot selected and the red so that's just an extended night vision potion and it's also uh, improvement over the 1.8 version so I saved uh, on a lot of armor stands by doing something like this so I was able to reduce the number of armor stands by about 70% doing stuff like this. I have an armor stand in the middle of four blocks. I also saved a lot on armor stands um, by inverting the signal for the um, as a word. So it's uh, automatically selected. Only the um, weakness potions here would deselect the as a word. So that's that inverted the signals and saved a lot of armor stands. Um, then the required ingredients are yeah, shot in those hoppers and this uh, minecart chest would pick them up in the correct order. In the 1.8 version I had a hopper minecart here uh, but hopper minecarts uh, could only carry five different ingredients and with the addition of the dragon's breath you could uh, brew potions with six ingredients and that's why I had to use a, a minecart chest now. And yeah, it's a little bit slower. In 1.8, the uh, hopper minecart would grab the uh, greeters from the top, but obviously the minecart chest can't do that. So it's a little bit slower because I have to use the minecart chest. And yeah, the system here is also uh, shrinked down a little bit, but it's still a lot of redstone um, because it has all those safety features and the lamps are powered. Yeah, it's not the smallest system, but I said it's the most advanced potion system for sure. And you could also hook up, for example, a witch farm. So you could add a line of hoppers here. And this um, yeah, redstone block just indicates that you have um, items in store 
but if you would have a witch farm then you I guess you always have po uh, ingredients in store and then you could just do something like this and your yeah, ingredients come up from the top and here would have an item filter and a water stream going from above so you could easily hook up the whole system to a witch farm for example. Yeah, you could also do the same for the water bottles so that's the storage for the water bottles. Um, the dropper would shoot out um, 18,000 bottles per hour so you need a double storage here so this way you make sure that the dropper wouldn't run out of um, water bottles or normal bottles, glass bottles. Okay and there's also the blaze powder slot. Now let's take a look at the whole part that would fill up the brewing stands with ingredients, water bottles and blaze powder. Uh, I completely changed it compared to 1.8 uh, for example, I had to uh, yeah, fit in the another rail uh, that would uh, fill up the blaze powder. So there's now also a, yeah, you can see it, a minecart chest next to the blaze powder storage yeah, it's from the top. And yeah, for example, behind the brewing stands, we now have two lanes. So the lane in the front is for the water bottles and the one in the back would refill the blaze powder. So that got changed and yeah the part below is quite the same so we have a hopper pointing into a dropper which would shoot out the items and then here is another uh, one nine elevator with the door so yeah that's the same so the items go up and here we also make, had to make a change compared to the 1.8 version. So in 1.8 I used um, those iron bars here but the hitbox got changed and I had to use those fence gates instead um, and we had some problems for example if you push an open fence gate into another location where it isn't powered it would stay open uh, you need to depower it separately in the new location so I had to add some yeah additional redstone in, on the top here and yeah the system makes sure that the items would always land uh, in the right slot. Uh, I explained it in my 1.8 video why I made this complicated system with the doors and the fence gates is just to make sure that the items um, won't go in the wrong chest. Um, you can take a look at my 1.8 uh, explanation of the system if you're interested in that. Yeah and that's all the changes. Um, that's it for this video. Um, I don't think I will make a tutorial in this unless there's a really popular demand but I don't think such a complicated system would be very popular. Um, yeah, If I get, I don't know, a few thousand views uh, might change my opinion but I don't think this will happen. So this is the end of the video. Have a good day and goodbye.